welcome back to my channel and happy 2018 wow i can't believe it's already february and this is the first video i posted whoops today's video is makeup tutorial that is glasses friendly and yeah i hope you enjoy it don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you if you already have and follow me on my social media at lorraine moran 94 and yeah Okay, so I've already prepped my skin and I'm going straight in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 140. I'm using a powder and pout brush P230 to blend it all in. This shade isn't exactly a match for my skin, so I'm blending it all the way down to my neck. I'm concealing under my eyes, down my nose, forehead and chin with a concealer that I actually found on a Korean website in the shade Frozen. I also like to add a little bit of this to my cupid's bow to brighten up. Again I'm just blending this all out with that foundation brush. I like to have a bit of a sing song while I do this. This foundation is quite matte, but I still like to set it with a powder. My favorite is the Rimmel Matte Perfection Loose Face Powder in the shade Transparent. I also make sure that I get into the crease of my nose because that's where my foundation usually starts to wear away first. For brows, I love my browsings and I got matched to number four and I use a blank canvas E30 brush to apply this. To set it in place, I use the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and it's a new find and I'm currently loving it. To put much needed colour back into my face, I'm going in with the Hoola bronzer from Benefit to the hairline, cheekbones and I also add this to the nose, jawline and under the chin to get rid of that double chin that wants to come out and say hi. For blush I'm using a mocky one that I can't seem to find the shade name for, sorry. For today's eyes I'm using the Colourpop Yes Please palette and I'm putting down full zip all over the lid as a base. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop note to self in the crease and blend it out. I'm doing this with the Powder and Pout P325 brush because, well, let's face it, it's the only one that I have that doesn't need to be cleaned. To diffuse any harsh lines, I go back with full zip. and also use this to clean up the corners. Adding a pop of colour to the under eye with the shade Spoiled. I'm just taking up a little bit because I don't want to go too crazy. For a 
distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange to how we're safe from home? To the dark out in days and feel a certain power If you're gonna break our shades, you have to let me know Turn the shade around, just add it down I blend this up an inch the crease. Now we come to the dreaded liquid liner. I swear it can sense your fears. This is an Essence liquid ink waterproof liner. It's super cheap and apparently super easy to apply, but as you can see, my liquid liner and I were not the best of friends today. I like to think that anything can be fixed with some mascara. So here I am lashing it on and this is Their Real by Benefit. I love me some highlighter and so I'm going all out with this Too Faced Candlelit Glow in Rosy Glow. Applying it everywhere. This is my current favourite lipstick. It's from Colourpop and it's in the shade Mama. It's super easy to apply and it stays on really well. And for a matte finish, it actually doesn't dry out your lips at all. the complete look thank you guys so much for watching this video if you'd like to see more videos like this please give this one a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already everything i used in this video will be linked in the description box below thanks for watching